what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel if i need here, my name is ellie today i'm going to be doing a book recommendation video it's been a really long time since i've done one of these and i really want to do more so today i'm going to be talking about four different books which all feature single parent i hope you find a new recommendation from this or if you have already read some of these then please let me know what you thought because i enjoyed all of these so the first book i'm going to be talking about is say it's forever by al jackson this is book two in the redemption hill series and i haven't actually read any of the other books in that series but i felt like it didn't matter when i picked this one up this is the story of salem and judd and our story starts with salem she breaks down on the side of the road one night and judd comes to her rescue so salem is a single mum and she has been through a lot i don't want to give any spoilers but she's been through a lot but she keeps going for the sake of her daughter and judd himself also has some history which is later revealed in the book but he is like a very protective hero over salem and her daughter so because they both have quite a lot that's happened to them it does take some time for them to build up trust within one another but trust me the wait is worth it i remember there was like a lot of drama in there so if you want something that's like cutesy and sweet this probably isn't the book for you but I personally really loved it. So the next book I'm going to talk about is Getting Real by Emma Chase. I personally listened to this on Audible as at the time this book was included within your subscription. I'm not sure if it still is but that's worth checking if you want to pick this one up. So in this one we follow Connor who is a single dad. He is a successful doctor and he works alongside Violet our heroine who is a nurse in the same hospital. So Violet has had a crush on Connor for a really long time but he has been so focused on his sons that he hasn't thought about dating and it's been like the last thing he's been wanting to do. At the start you get to see them working alongside together then of course a relationship slowly develops and Violet really really understands how important his sons are. So Connor obviously like prioritises them and she has like no issues with that. She's a really really understanding heroine which I really liked about her and yeah you just like get to see their relationship grow through work but then also outside of work like I believe they have mutual friends or like one of them has like a sibling that's friends with the other one like there was like a family or friends connection between them as well so they do spend a lot of time together this is also part of a series i have listened to two i'm not sure how many there are but again worth checking this one out to see if it's still on audible as i really enjoyed the audio of this the third book is Only I Knew by Corinne Michaels. So Danielle, our heroine, becomes a single mum after her husband passes away. She has a teenage daughter and a younger son and she is really struggling with her teenage daughter. She just has so much attitude and she's really struggling to cope with the fact that her father is no longer there. So to kind of cope with it, Danielle just throws herself into her job. She earns herself a promotion. So this is when the hero Milo comes in. So he believes that he should have been the one to get this job but instead he is asked to work alongside Danielle and this doesn't go down well for either of them so at first they do not expect to get along because they both wanted this job by themselves and they didn't know they were going to have to work together and they don't want to work together but of course as they're working alongside together they begin to open up and one thing I did find in this is that like the children were very like well written and their ages felt spot on sometimes with children in books they sound much younger for their age or much older for the age but I felt like the author got their ages spot on in this and again this was another book that was available when I read it on Audible included in your subscription and then the fourth and final book is Stirred by Charity Ferrell this is the story of Jamie and Cohen Cohen is the single dad in this story and his wife left him to run off to Vegas so he is left behind with his son so at the very start of the book he takes his son to the ER where his nurse is Jamie so Jamie is his ex's sister. Jamie had always wanted a relationship with her nephew but because Cohen was so mad at her sister he never let her have that so when he shows up in the ER she's kind of like in shock that her nephew was here and that she's finally gonna get to meet him and Cohen has been putting some of the blame of his exes leaving on Jamie so he just doesn't like her because of that so whilst they're in the ER they have a conversation and Jamie begs him to let her get to know her nephew which he begrudgingly agrees to. They start to make arrangements where she would be able to spend some time with them together and then as it goes on he starts to trust her a little bit more so if he needs someone to watch his son for an hour or so she was getting called in so she was getting to build this relationship with her nephew which was really nice but of course this is a romance recommendation so they end up falling for each other which 
you know, becomes quite complicated considering that he dated and has a son with her sister. Yeah, it gets a little bit messy, but I really, really loved this book. It was personally the first book that I read by this author and I really, really want to read more by them. I think like out of all of these, this is probably like my favorite of these recommendations. So they are for single parent romance recommendations. I've been keeping a list of all of the books I've been reading in the tropes so that I can try and do some more recommendation videos. So hopefully there's going to be a few more of these coming your way, but I hope you enjoyed this and hopefully found a new book or two to pick up. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next week.